Okay, I wanted to make a quick video about how to correct a problem with um, your aircraft where when you apply throttle the um, aircraft starts to climb uh, so normally you've got level flight but as you put the throttle in it starts to climb and you want to keep it level so what you actually have to do is correct it by putting in some correction with the elevator. Um, in this case I'm using a Hobby King Wing Wing Z84 uh, for this example but it's the same for all flying wings and in fact the way to set up the mixing between throttle and elevator is pretty much the same even if you're using uh, an aircraft which has got normal elevators rather than these elevons which is what we're using here. So first things, a couple of safety points. One is that um, you need to be careful that you do not um, start to do these tests or try to test the setup whilst you've got the motor connected if you're, um, you know, if you're going to do it in the house for example. So I've disconnected two of the power cables for my motor here to make sure that it doesn't actually spin up while I'm doing it. Um, so that's one safety point. The other one is of course to follow any recommendations in the manuals and to make sure that you uh, have somebody competent to help you if you uh, are not quite sure what you're doing. On my transmitter here I've got my aileron um, or elephant as they're used now, I've got them connected in on the elevator and aileron channels of my receiver. The only other cable I've got in there is the throttle cable. So this has already been set up, so I can quickly show you what happens when I um, apply throttle. So on my DX7S here, as I put the throttle control up, to a certain point you'll see that the elevator, elevator starts to move down. So that's going to correct the um, behaviour of the aircraft whereby at a certain point of power it starts to climb and I don't want it to climb, I want it to stay level. So I've got that correction in with the throttle to elevate and mix in. So you must have previously set up um, the normal movement of your um, control services aileron so that when you bank left it's going to bank left and when you bank right it's going to bank right. In this case I've configured elevons which I'll show you how to do that which means that when I pull back on the right stick it's going to climb so both elevator surfaces move up and when I push down both elevator surfaces move down. So the first step is how to set up the elevons. So as I said you need to have individual um, channels um, for your two uh, ailerons, you can't have them both into a kind of Y cable where you're joining just into a single channel. If you need to reverse one of them, you need to get something like this, which is a signal reverser. This one I got from Hobby King, um, and it allows you to reverse the be behavior of one of the channels. So, what you need to do on your transmitter is uh, find a blank slot. I'm going to go from the start, so find a space slot on your transmitter. Turn it on, and whilst you turn it on, press this right roller button. And then down here, you need to go into selecting your wing type. And you're going to go from normal to elevons. And that's it. Select list. Um, I've already selected aircraft type as acro or aircraft rather than helicopter. And so from here, I can now go to the main screen. Then what you need to do is press the right roller button and go down to mixing. And once you're in mixing, you need to go to this option and click on TC Mix 1, which is there. Press on Mix 1 and go to the first option, which says INH for inhibit, and change that to THR for throttle. Go to the second option, and in my case, I'm selecting right aileron, RAL. It could be that you need to do it on left aileron, but... Um, I'm doing it on right tailor on and set a rate. The first rate is basically the rate at which the ele elevator will move in relation to the thrust, um, the, the throttle control. So I'd start off with something not too high, maybe 15 or 20 percent, and then from there you'll need to adjust it if it's not sufficient movement. The next value is a kind of offset for the actual surface. So if you wanted the surface to start with a certain amount of up or down movement, you could set that by putting a value on here. I have always left it exactly as it is without any changes. 
The final one is quite important. This sets the point at which the throttle stick starts to take effect with counteracting the movement of the plane up or downward. So I'd recommend probably setting that at least 40%. Then go down here and make sure that the switch is on, and that's it all for that one. Go on to mix two, and do the same thing. So again, you set throttle, select right aileron. Go down here and select the rate to be the same. I think I selected 20%. And go down here and select the same for your offset. These m uh, numbers must match what you had on the first screen. And that's it. Uh, you might also, if you find that the plane's banking left or right slightly, not really as a, as a result of doing this, but just in general, you might need to go into service, servo setup and set the sub trim on one of the um, aileron controls so that it stops that left or right movement. So once that's done, that's pretty much all you have to do in order to get um, both elevons can. Elephants set to set up, but also thrust to um, elevate to mix in. So now you'll see that as I push up on this, I get that movement downwards to correct it. So I hope that's been useful. After you've finished, don't forget to reconnect, uh, switch everything off, and reconnect the um, cables to your motor, and that should mean that you can fly a lot more level and straight. I hope that's been useful.